Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon recently released as a standalone, downloadable expansion to Far Cry 3 on the PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Originally announced on April Fool's Day, many, including myself, wondered if this game was a joke. But Blood Dragon exists. It's very much a real thing. And saying it pays homage to popular action and sci-fi movies of the 80s would be an understatement. It's like Far Cry 3, Terminator, and Tron had a bastard child that was adopted by Michael Bean, who voices the main character Sergeant Rex Power Colt. Yes, that is his name. Oh, and there are dragons who shoot frickin' laser beams out of their frickin' eyes. The gameplay of Blood Dragon should be instantly familiar to anyone who played Far Cry 3. Aside from a couple of special abilities, since you're playing as a Mark IV Cyber Commando, like sprinting insanely fast, or swimming insanely fast, and surviving insanely high falls, and being given insanely powerful and awesome weaponry, it plays exactly the same. I use the word insanely a lot in that sentence because it's really the only way to describe Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. It's absolutely 250% insane. Much of the missions will follow along a similar path to the original Far Cry 3, with side missions being comprised of hunting down specific animals or enemies with a specific weapon, or saving some cyber nerd, I mean scientists, from the evil robo bad guys that have turned this island into something directly out of Tron, but with more grass to light on fire. Another thing you will quickly learn is that adding neon makes everything better. Bore of the compound bow? Boom! Add some neon and you've got the bow of the future! Board of takedowns? Neon knife. Done. Oh, and instead of throwing your machete at guys to string takedowns together, you throw a glowing shuriken. That's a ninja star. Yeah. Also, headshots are just amazing. Uh, maybe the most satisfying I've ever encountered in a game. Uh, okay, except maybe Sniper Elite V2. You, you can't beat that x-ray camera. The game runs on the Dunia 2 engine, which itself is based off the original Cry engine. The game looks fantastic on console and maintains a steady frame rate, rarely, if ever, dropping to a point where it is noticeable. I haven't played the game on PC, but from what video I've seen, combined with the fact you can achieve a higher frame rate, this is simply one of the most visually stunning and unique looking games around. In addition to all that, the cutscenes are presented in an old school 16-bit fashion. While these are awesome at first, their frequency in the first couple hours of the game gets a little tiring. Blood Dragon also boasts some of the most amazing sounds in a video game ever. Guns sound awesome, as they should, because, you know, lasers and all. But the soundtrack that Australian duo Power Glove has put together is... You just cannot comprehend how amazing it is. Equal parts Tron and Terminator, it's impossible not to fall in love with the music of Blood Dragon. Unless you hate the 80s. How could you ever hate the 80s? When it comes to the story, well, what story? You're here to shoot people, save the girl, and stop the bad guy from blowing up the world. What little story strings the missions together has no effect on the game at all, really. It's just an excuse for you to go blow something else up into gooey neon oblivion. As fun as Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is, I would recommend that you try the game before you buy it. Go check it out at a friend's house if they have it, or download the demo and get a quick taste of what this game is. If you can't appreciate bucket loads of swearing, intentionally cheesy dialogue, and lots and lots of synth drums, you're gonna hate this game after about 20 minutes. If you love the 80s, if you love old 80s and early 90s action movies, you don't need to think twice about dropping $15 on this nostalgia trip for the ages. Blood Dragon is pure, stupid, unadulterated fun.